if the Finns and the Swedes decide to host NATO bases uh, on their territory or to place potentially offensive or defensive weapons on their territory, the Russians will respond in kind. And that's essentially the point that Putin was making today. If they essentially become members of NATO and don't change anything about their fundamental military posture, in other words, their own armies will remain in the same places where they have been for decades, this will not necessitate a shift. Let me make another very quick point, Anand. Um, NATO is also uh, an organization that works on consensus, and there is a notable uh, sort of breakdown, a, a split within NATO into the more um, anti-Russian uh, states that are willing to take more aggressive, one could say risky, depending on whose point of view you're taking, um, stances towards Russia. And then there are uh, states such as, let's say, Germany, France, and Italy. Um, that are a lot more uh, restrained. Mm -hmm. uh, in a strange sense, uh, Finland and Sweden joining NATO is probably going to contribute to the more restrained uh, camp. Let's remember that Sweden does not have a border with uh, Russia, and it has gone through periods in, I mean, modern history, where it's taken a more hawkish approach to the Russians. But the Finns have a very long and, at this point, not terribly well-defended border, and it's not in their interest to constantly side with, let's say, the Baltic right. countries or the Poles, who have traditionally been more aggressive. In a sense, Finland sort of dilutes the more hawkish camp, but again, we'll see how it works out.